Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with Suburban Soapbox and today we are making cheddar broccoli soup. This extra cheesy vegetarian soup is so simple to make and it's better than that sandwich chain. Let's get started. To start your broccoli cheddar soup, you're going to need, of course, broccoli and some cheddar cheese. I like to use a block of cheddar and shred it myself. I feel like when you use a real cheddar cheese, the meltability is much better and you don't get that graininess that you get from a pre-shredded cheddar. A little bit of cornstarch for a thickening, butter, olive oil, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, onion powder, salt and pepper, garlic powder, dry ground mustard, chopped onion, carrot, and vegetable stock. Now normally I like to use a chicken stock. I like the flavor of a chicken stock. It has a little more body to it, but today we're using vegetable stock. We're also going to make it creamy with a little bit of half and a half. So to start our soup, we're going to add the olive oil to a pot, along with the butter. We're just gonna melt that butter in with the olive oil. So to the pot, we're going to add the onions. Stir that into the olive oil and the butter. And we're just gonna cook those until softened. Okay, now that the onions are starting to soften, we're going to add the carrots. And you just wanna stir in, I like to use the matchstick cut carrots and then chop them into fine little bits. I feel like that blends into the soup a little bit better than like big chunks of carrot. And then once your carrots start to soften, we're going to stir in the garlic. And you're only gonna cook the garlic for about a minute until it's fragrant and starts to smell a little nutty. And now that the garlic is mixed in and it's cooked a little bit, we're going to stir in the broccoli. And one tip for the broccoli is I like to make sure that my broccoli is cut into like tiny little florets. This way you don't have to blend it. You can actually blend some of your soup if you want it to be a little thicker with some of the broccoli like kind of blended into that broth. So we're just gonna add about two cups of the broccoli florets. Stir that all in. You wanna combine all the onions and the carrots and the garlic with the broccoli and we're gonna cook it for a couple minutes. Your broccoli will be Still a little crisp in your soup. If you want it to be a little less crisp, you can definitely cook the soup longer, but I like a little bite to it. So now that our vegetables are cooked, and you can tell because the broccoli is like bright green, so you know that it's cooked, I'm going to add the cornstarch. So the cornstarch is a thickener, and cooking the cornstarch before adding your liquid is definitely going to eliminate the clumping. So you wanna sprinkle it all over and just give it a stir. And then kind of like sprinkle a little bit more and stir. You're just coating the vegetables with the cornstarch. Now I have two cups of stock. This is the vegetable stock. You can sub substitute with chicken stock if you want. And we're just gonna pour that in to the pot. And you're gonna notice right away that this starts to thicken up, and that's exactly what you want because your broccoli's already cooked, so you don't really need it to sit in the stock, in a hot stock, and boil for hours. You'll just end up with mushy, mushy broccoli. Nobody wants mushy broccoli. All right, so at this point, we're going to add our seasoning. So we're going to add our garlic powder, our dry mustard, our onion powder, the Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, however you want to say it, and salt and pepper. And we're gonna stir that all together. And you don't need a ton of salt because the Worcestershire sauce definitely adds a saltiness to this soup. So now I'm gonna add two cups of half and half. And you can use heavy cream here and that's generally what they use in that sandwich shop that I love their broccoli cheddar soup. They use a heavy cream. It's a lot richer, but
but I wanted to make this a little less fat heavy and calorie heavy, so I used half and half. And half and half is just a dairy product that's made with like half milk and half cream. And it's half and half. So we're just gonna stir it in slowly because you don't want it to kind of curdle. Once you have it in there, you can kind of start to pour the whole thing in. It just takes the temperature down a little bit and makes it less likely to curdle once you stir it in. Just gonna blend that all together. And at this point, you do not want your soup to come to a boil. We just want it to simmer a little bit, just enough to melt the cheese. That's the most important part here. Now that our soup is simmering and it's hot enough to melt the cheese, we're going to add the cheese just like one handful at a time. So you wanna add a little bit of cheese and then stir it in once it melts, then you can add a little bit more. And make sure you save some for the garnish for on top. It just makes it look much more substantial and then you have that little bit of cheese that you can mix in. Add some crackers. All right, so looks like that melted in just beautifully. We're gonna add a little bit more. Stir that in. You can see the colors starting to change in the soup. It's getting that nice yellow, like orangey hue to it. That is all cheese. So now our soup is done. We're just gonna ladle it up into some bowls and garnish it with a little extra cheese, and then we're gonna eat lunch. I'm going in for a bite. So excited. Get a little bit of broccoli and onion and carrot. And if you want to make this thicker, you can definitely put it half of it in the blender and then mix it all together. Sometimes I'll ladle like a couple cups into a blender or food processor and blend it up. Or you can stick an immersion blender directly into the pot and just like give it a few whirls. It'll definitely make it a little creamier. Mm. It is so good. You can taste the tang of the cheese, but you still have a little bit of vegetables to kind of chew. Makes you feel like you're actually eating a meal. Sometimes soup just tastes like you're drinking your meal. I like the chunks. It is so, so delicious. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.